In this question, we have been given a rod uh, which is hinged about point P and is free to rotate about this point B. And we have been given another mass m, small m, which is approaching this rod with a velocity of 5 meter per second. Now, if we consider the system of small m and capital M, we can say the net torque about the point P of the system is zero. And henceforth, we can conserve the angular momentum of the system about point P. Okay, so if we have to find the initial angular momentum of the system, it would be only contributed because of the smaller mass as the bigger rod is at rest. And that would be simply m u l by 2, right? Where u is this 5 meter per second and, and the and L by 2 is just a perpendicular distance of the smaller mass from the point, from the hinge. So that would be the initial angular momentum. And if you calculate it, it will come out to be 0 0.05. Now, just after collision, the angular momentum of the system would be LF. And that would be because uh, of the contributions from the rod as well as from the small mass. Okay, just after collision, let's assume this rod rotates with an angular velocity of omega. And it is given in the question that the small mass moves away from the point of collision with a velocity of v in the same direction. So now, because of this rod, we can say the angular momentum contribution would be i omega, where i is the moment of inertia of this rod about the point p. <coughs> and the contribution because of this small, small mass would be simply mvl by 2, but right now in the opposite direction. Right, so in the direction you can just find by curling your fingers. So, if you curl your fingers in the direction of omega, you'll get that the angular momentum is into the plane. So now, as we know, the moment angular momentum could be conserved uh, by using that fact, we get our equation number one. Okay, and the moment of inertia, right, of the rod about point P is m l squared by three. So utilizing that, we get our first equation between omega and v. Now for the second equation, we can use the fact that the collision in this question is elastic. And for all types of collisions, we define a quantity called as coefficient of restitution, which is basically the ratio of the separation velocity and the approach velocity between the two bodies that are going to collide. So as the collision is elastic, we can say the separation velocity and the approach velocity are the same. Now just before collision, the C is the point of collision by the way, and just before collision, we can say the smaller mass approaches the point C with a velocity of 5 meter per second. So we could say the approach velocity is 5 meter per second. Now just after collision, uh, these two bodies move away from each other with a speed of V plus omega L by 2. Right, and omega L by 2 because this point is at a distance of L by 2 and this rod is rotating with a velocity of omega. So the linear velocity of point C we can write it as omega L by 2. So the separation velocity we can write it as V plus L by omega L by 2 is the velocity with which these points move away from each other after collision. Now we know approach velocity and separation velocity are the same. So by using that fact we get our equation number 2. So now we have two equations and two variables, we can solve it to get omega and v. So yeah, thank you.